champion. So this is what the steps look like and the vines look like Saturday, September 14th. And here's another view of it. And then Sunday, the 15th, this is what a lot of erosion happened. That's what it looked like. But then now Monday, the 16th, oh my gosh, it just got wiped clean right there, man. What the heck? And check what's on the horizon, man. Okay, I live on that blue dot you just seen right there, right below Manila. But look up at the top of this picture, at the very tip top. Can't see it right now because I'm looking at that monstrosity out there in the middle of the Pacific. See where it says Babinka at the top, very top, right almost on top of Shanghai? That's what started all this. But then now look at next to Manila. There's that twirl, that swirl right there, that little swirl. And look, Babinka's not that big, but look, look, look at that monstrosity out there in the Pacific. It's not a, a complete circle, but look how strong it looks. Oh my God, I don't even know what's gonna happen. Anyway, that, that one is supposed to take kind of like the same path as Babinka up there, little Babinka. And then the one uh, circling next to Manila, up north of Manila, is supposed to cross the land and go into the sea, the Sulu Sea over there where you, you see out my window. But you see the blue where I live, it sucks everything out of the South China Sea. It's early in the morning and uh, Wow, it's looking rough out there, man. I woke up and like, I hope the fence is still there. Man, all this churning, churning all night. This is like the fifth day in a row, man. The tree is still even there. That little tree is getting chomp going over there. Anyway. The tree's getting chomped on. That gave us some rock base, but. Just get windy night now. My favorite banana is still there. Right away this morning. Wow, man. So the Vikings already played. That's why I got this one. <laughs> but I haven't watched the game yet. Oh. It's all right here. Oh my. Man, I'm scared to dance, man. I'm scared to dance because. You know, San Francisco went to the Super Bowl, and we done blew 10, an easy 10 points, fumbled at the half a yard line. And uh, Donald threw an interception, you know, and we were already in field goal range. So that's 10 points easy right there that we blew. It should be 33 to 14. should have been worse than that. We should have had 10 extra points. All right, man, we're 2-0 now. <laughs> well, the Vikings did good, you know, but last night I couldn't sleep that good because, you know, the surf was roaring and grinding down here all night long. And the, there was rain warnings, you know, get an alert on a red rain and orange rain. And uh, it makes me paranoid that the drains are gonna get clogged up. <laughs> So I cannot sleep good. Every time there's a warning, you know, I gotta go to my app on my phone, which, you know, it's within reach where I sleep. I go to my app on my phone and I check the camera that points at where the drains are at. So I make sure, I don't have to get up to make sure that the house is not, you know, the drains are not backing up and the water's coming in the house. So that didn't happen. So. That was good, but every time there's the 
a phone alerts a rain warning, you know, I gotta, I gotta check my phone though. So I was restless. And uh, man, I know it, it doesn't look good out here. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my Lord have mercy. I, I, I gotta jump off my, here's the cliff here where my, my steps are. Man, man. Well, I showed this yesterday. You know, these walls, they protect up by the fence. And the steps help too, but there's nothing to help the steps. Look at this. I've never seen. Well, I showed it yesterday. It's continued to eat. Man, it's eating. That's how I'm talking about you see the tap root. All that sand's gone. And there's a good, out here where I'm standing, there's a good two meters of sand missing. To get out here, it's two meters of sand missing off this beach. It would be up to my eyeballs. From right here up to my eyeballs. It's usually where the sand is. That's where I'm usually walking on top of my head, man. It's not even uh, funny. I want to gather see these rocks and don't let these rocks get away. Because they came from right here. So I'm going to gather some of these rocks up and put them back where they go. Man. This is uh, not good. Wow. I put that one rock right there. I'm already tired, that thing was heavy. But it was out here, see where I got, got it from that hole right there. I wanna get that big one there, so put it back up here where it belongs. Uh, yeah, this is not funny. That's exactly like it was last time, except it didn't have any, any dirt, sand, and rocks behind it. It was there by itself right there. Wow. These walls are keeping this little bit of sand up here, but wow, I don't think they could take much more. You see their fence is, it's underneath their uh, fence down there already. It's underneath the footing. Here, I'll show you. Actually, that wall was helping them too because it used to be real bad right here. It'd be all the way underneath their footing and the waves would be hidden in their yard, which the waves are going up underneath there now into their yard. It's washing dirt out back out to the sea. So let me get what rocks I can right now while I can while I can save the big rocks. I worked uh, hard to get these big rocks up in here. And, and I did a little bit all the time, but I stopped doing it because I thought it was okay, but I'm gonna get some of them rocks right now. And get them back over here. So there's another wave of rain. I want to put, I'm going to put my rain, I'm going to take this off, put my raincoat on, go out there. I want to move a major boulder over there on the corner of the uh, steps before, because it's not over. It's going to be a couple more days, I think, of eating at the beach, eating the sand off of there. So I don't want the steps to be undermined. It looked like the wall, the, um, the seawall slash fence out there, which I dug, dug it especially deep. 
and uh because i talked to my builder about it so kind of make it a seawall slash fence it looks like the walls are even though the end of one wall that protects it the most got broken off i will have to fix that later when it's dry for a long time i will dig that out and extend that wall out because that's the most way that the waves come from if you're facing the water they come from left to right and it broke that wall off on the left side it broke the wall off on the left side and then allowed it to eat closer to the steps so that's exactly what i don't want so i will extend it in the future not right now so right now i'm going to get some um, nylon and i can i can see where the corners of those there's big piece of um, coral. I can run a rope in there and tie them to the rebar in the fence and keep them from, uh, from the sea from taking those away. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put my raincoat on and uh, get a, another boulder over there on the corner of those steps to, so that it doesn't undermine my uh, the steps. I don't want it to do that. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's the plan. It's time to rescue some stones. Hi. On the cover of the Rolling Stones. My picture on the cover, stone. Five copies for my mother, stone. On the cover of the rolling stone. <sighs> Got to put in some work. You know, this might save the undermining of the steps and stuff, so I got to try. This is a lot easier than making a new steps or a new fence. <laughs> hey. I'm dressed to get wet now, so. I ain't too worried about it. I'm gonna get some stuff done. Yeah. On the cover of the rolling stones. Oh, got something. Dang, man. Forgot to get my, uh, my cutter to cut this well. <laughs> I gave all that lumber to my sister-in-law. I don't know how it will look. Like Hyann came right by here. And this, this yard is still here, so that's a good sign. Now, at the time, that was the fastest typhoon to come on land and world history recorded history whatever I <laughs> got too much stuff here all right ah man this is crazy a crazy amount of sand has left this beach Two meters, man. That's six feet of six feet. Six freaking feet. The sand is gone. Oh. oh, where's that? There it is. Okay. 
guess uh, I want to tie off to that rebar right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's some rebar down in there. And I want to tie off to that. And I, I know there's a hole that goes through this. I don't want this to uh, go away because it's a good corner piece. So we're going to attempt to uh, tie some. Uh, uh, I'm just going to make a square knot in here. Come up. And then go out. Come up through the hole. First, like you're tying your shoes. Can you see that, man? Wow, there's a million of them down there. Ah, there's like a 25 of them on me. What? See? Yeah, in there. Wow. They like that leaf or something down there. All right. So that's one side of it. Then I'm gonna bring it down here to tie off this piece of. Gotta find the holes. On the cover of the rolling stones. Huh. Don't really see the hole. <laughs> That's some hair. <laughs> That's a bad joke, I guess. Nowadays, oh, you know, it's funny to me. <laughs> What's that? Pink rock. Oh, there it is. So I go around this bottom one, then I gotta come back to there. So that should be enough right there. This is valuable nylon wall uh bro. Got it tied to the rebar. And they call it the form bar right there. You see it? Then I got it going down here. First it goes around here and goes through that hole right there. And I wrapped it around twice. It came back up, wrapped it around this hole, and then tied it to this initial line. So if it goes somewhere, it won't go far. And now I want to put that rock right there. That's going to be a big job. I wanted to tie this. This is getting ready to fall off the cliff. I want to tie it to that rebar right there. It's embedded in the solid concrete. 
me see if I can find a couple holes to hang on to that because I don't want it to sweep away. A lot of these rocks went that way. You can see some of them down the beach there. Those were rocks here. But you know, this, this tide just rolls sideways down through here because of that band. And uh, those are in the same place because I put those big ones there for this drain comes out of the yard so it'll have rock, rocks to hit and not uh, eat away to sand so much right here well it's a lot of damage but as you notice I got the only hunk of sand this high down that beach you don't see that nowhere else so these walls and these steps are helping everything it's not perfect I need some bigger like one of my subscribers said I need some bigger boulders put great big boulders right all along this fence and then just don't worry about the sand anymore let it come and go uh, the boulders are protect the fence I think it did move a little bit but that's right along my fence line anyway yeah. I don't think that moved. If it did, it, I think it's just a little bit. Maybe it wasn't even with the fence at first. Now it is. And it's up against this bamboo, so as long as that bamboo lives, it'll be all right. Let's see, that's going to be a big rock to try to get on this corner down here. I want to put it underneath this one because, like I said, most of the surf comes from that way. It rolls down this beach. And, wow. The sand was, the sand was up here, man. And that's, when you get out here past where I saved the sand, that's already chin high. Okay, that's nose high. That's the top of my head right there. Where the sand level used to be. The top of my head used to be all the way through here. You can see there. That's above my head. The footing is above my head. Their footing. Is that the top of my head? Where I'm standing at right here. This, that's how much sand is gone from right here. It's almost unbelievable. And you saw the pictures yesterday. I need big boulders, humongous boulders put in here, all along here, just to protect the fence and the steps and everything you can see the base of the footing is right there the footing is i don't know it's, oh, the footing of the steps is not that much farther i don't think wow it's quite amazing everything that's gone okay let me get to work on this, see if I can find something. You see that it's getting ready to fall off the edge right there. So, first order of business is finding a hole that goes all the way through. What? That one does not. You know what's up in there? I don't want to stick my finger. <laughs> all right. These vines are already holding it. I can feel they're taut. Up. Here we 
again. That's the square nut. I said I don't think I'll lose my twine. All right. Hmm. It's raining pretty good now. I don't care. I got my bathing suit on now, so I guess they're in trouble. Oh, see it already rocked. It's rocking cuz it's ready to fall. That's why I'm trying to save it. I want it. I want to keep this. The next tide is going to get this. The way it's eating away. Oh, okay. Let's call that good. Let me get my knife. Whew. Yeah, I see a storm coming out there. Almost look like a big tornado, doesn't it? I ain't done yet. But this one GoPro, the uh, rubber came off with a on and off button. And uh, it's no longer waterproof. This one on my head is, but it's a GoPro 7. The GoPro 9 Black that I retired with uh, has given me nothing but trouble the whole time. If you want me to talk good about GoPro, GoPro, send me a, a GoPro that's not a lemon. Please. Since I can't afford in my uh, Social Security retirement to buy another one. So you send me one and it's good. I won't talk smack about it no more <laughs> but that uh gopro 9 black uh right from the beginning uh i did um some nice uh footage of the concrete pad being built and it lost the footage and said you have to uh reset the GoPro, but when you do it, you're gonna lose your footage. There was no way to get the footage off of there. I worked hard all day uh, getting different angles and everything, and it lost all the footage. A whole day's work. Um, you know, since when has an iPhone lost your footage? I mean, really, doesn't happen. So, GoPro is uh sec you know it's like a toy it's not real it's not a real good um uh, you know if you want to count on it for your work you could forget that just forget it because it's not going to work so if you uh, got better gopro send me send me one that is better <laughs> and i'll talk good about it Otherwise, I'm going to continue to talk smack because I tell the truth on this channel. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Hopefully you can see that that big boulder right there. <sighs> Could put it on that corner of that wall. Maybe I need it there more. I 
think so. I think I need it right here. On this corner. gonna get it up in there sit so I'm in the driving rain working on the beach <laughs> I gotta get this boulder over on the corner before the high tide comes again and beat the crap out of it. Anyway, you see where I tied off? Oh wow! See this a driving rain? Oh. Dang man! Can't get the spin. Anyway, it's a driving rain. I gotta try to get this, that rock to this corner right here. That's a big heavy rod, man. I got a pry bar down there, though. I lost the footage earlier. This GoPro lost lost all my footage that I already did this one time. It lost the footage, just like I said earlier. So I don't know. Don't invest in a GoPro if you're serious about your video or something like that. You don't want to lose a whole day's work. corner of the steps a little bit it's because you know I, I noticed the bottom of that was chipped too so the shoreline surely changed a lot so what I did out here right now is uh I think that vine you know there used to be vines in front of their house they got wiped away got caught on this wall the night before last, part of this wall broke off. Probably one of these logs went in the surf and rammed it like he was breaking a castle. That's what broke the end of this wall off. And some of the bottom of that one has broke off. You can see the bottom of that wall is a little in. It wasn't like that. It was straight. So the surf didn't make it to the bottom of these walls. And even if all that dirt was gone right there, it wouldn't be down to my footing of that fence. Even if all that cliff that you see right there was completely gone, there would still be wall just like that, except after another couple feet, it's no paint. <laughs> yeah, we didn't paint under the ground. But it is fortified with uh, Sahara waterproof mix, this whole fence is. So, and uh, the only thing that's 
you see these hollow blocks that's only the steps because i figured i figured stuff like this was going to happen and i saw some of it during the build so i told them just to make the steps out of hollow block because i thought they're going to get tore up and i would have to keep building them because of the sweeping surf here but so far so good but uh now i don't like it getting down I, I want some boulders in here you know about they got to be big boulders like uh i'd say you know i rolled this you see this big stone right here i rolled this out of the yard down here i want boulders in here 10 times that big that times 10 and that's a good boulder right there i rolled it here look how big that boulder is that's a heavy boulder that's actually heavier than that i think that's uh that is uh bedrock right there clay bedrock you know hard you know where they dug deep down and made the columns uh, the well the well that was dug out of the well too so that is not that's how came down from the mountain down the river into the sea that was actually smaller but it's heavier than that one so i want boulders like that granite boulders or something like that and huge ones and i'm going to need uh one big boulder in this corner dig all that out put a bolt big boulder in there the size of that all that one there one right next to it here big one and then another big one right here two boulders are going to be that's how big the boulders are going to be half the size of these stuff is one boulder the other half is another boulder and it sticks out and then a big boulder an even bigger boulder goes behind that and then along this fence going to have the like in front of the steps you know three quarter boulders about four or five of them and then on the cornerstone sticking out farther than this I want a big boulder about right here where I'm standing. And then, of course, boulders that way. And packed in here. Huh. Just like a wharf, you know, a wharf jetty. Big old boulders stacked up right there. I know where some are, too, down at that peninsula. Beyond that peninsula right there are some big boulders. I think I can get those. I'm not sure. I can rent. I know somebody with some excavators too. I don't know. Need a uh, what's that? A D7 dozer? Dozer. You know, in a in that big scooper, they could hold about four boulders. That would save me money. Just bring four boulders down here. Four more, four more, four more. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there's nothing wrong with the house. So I ain't going to cry too much. But you see how them walls kind of kept something there. The rest of this, like, like this, this house, this front of this is just swept clean. Because got nothing to stop the water going across until it gets to that wall that's why their vines that were all in front of here wrapped around there and made this big rope down the way there it may have helped me too it helped the wall to block some of the force of the water luckily it didn't pull the wall down <laughs> anyway this fence looks uh, almost twice as high as it used to. <laughs> I think it was, see that line right now? Um, that line. Where the red part is, then you got a whole section down where that first line is. I think that's where the sand was. Yeah. As you see here, yeah it all got swept down pretty good 
see that pile of sand that's on this side of the steps. The other side will not be like that. There's no big boulders down here. Because the ones that were big, I got them already. Half decent ones. There's one right there, but I think it's so much in front of their house, all it has. I think that's coral. It's a big hunk of coral. I would have to ask them if I can have that. I'm gonna just take that from the front of their house. Wow, that's a new piece because I never seen that before. Wow, that might have broke off recently. Well, it looks cool, don't it? Looks fresh. Anyway, there's really no houses down here to sweep away anything. So, just run off from the road and the mountain. Same with down here. Saw them stumps and stuff that get caught up. Anyway, I'm not going to go much farther than this. I just want to see there was any big boulders down here. I might ask that lady, can I have that coral? I'll get my wife to ask her because she doesn't speak English. See if uh, my, my wife is friends with her. Can my husband have that piece of coral? He wants to put it up by his fence. See what she says. Oh, cause she can say is no, I'm gonna use that. Or yes, you can have that. I don't want that. Black sand. Isn't gold supposed to be in black sand? That's a sign of gold, right? <laughs> I'm gonna pan some. I feel like panning some of this. I'm pretty sure black black sand is always with the gold. <sighs> See if anything gets caught in the ripples. <laughs> I've been watching too much gold rush. What the heck? No. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I learned that from Gold Rush about the black sand. But there's got to be river rocks, which there's plenty of river rocks around here. Wow. Probably just volcanic sand. Not the kind of heavy black sand. Wow. If you could glaze that, that'd be a nice look of piece. Man, a piece of rock is stuck in there. Oh. That rock looked like it grew in there. Look at that. You see how that rock is going right in the wood? What? That rock has grown around. The wood has grown around that rock. There's no way it could be that even along that rock. What is going on here? Somebody put that rock in that tree while it was still growing. Right? Because look how it's stuck in there right there. Perfectly. There's no way it fits that that good. Come on man. There's all kinds of rocks in there. Look. What the heck? Look. 
There's another rock right in the middle of that wood. How is that, man? I don't understand. Y'all clue me in because look, that's grown, that rock is grown right in there too. That rock must have been, no, that, that was a root ball. Oh, I get it. It was rocky terrain and this tree grew around the rocks. And then it fell down and fell with all the rocks. Yeah, the tree grew right around all these rocks in the ground. This is the root ball. Oh, it finally dawned on me, you know, I'm dense. So you see the water level is up to seven feet. So um, I've seen it a lot higher than that up in the yellow. So we'll see how it goes. But the river's looking a lot fuller, right? It's very wide, especially on that side. You can see it. Well. It's quite an amazing beach out there. And uh, I looked out here and the chair was dry. Guess the wind blew it dry. You know, normally they got water setting in them because it's raining. And it was pouring down earlier, so it's got blow dry. But just chair is clean. <laughs> it's been getting a lot of rain lately. Anyway, it's worrisome to beat you. You know, I don't know how much longer it's gonna eat the sand. Because I think I only got about three more feet to get down to the fence footing. Maybe four feet to get down to the bottom of that fence. You see where my grass is? Um, if, you're, if you're an old time subscriber, um, you, you know what size the, it's just like a piece of plywood. That's the, that's the, the, the uh, width of the plywood, not the length, the width of the plywood twice below that drain hole. So that's about how deep it goes. I don't know, there might not be a, but it's still, that's not including the, uh, the sand that's still there out there now. If that got down to where the beach is ate up, there still would be like three foot to get to the footing. If that makes any sense. Like you saw where the cliff was out there. If up by the fence was even with the beach, then it still got to go another three feet. Cause it's been farther than that before and I never saw the footing. But that one was dangling and the waves were coming in the yard over there. And it's not that deep yet. So there was a lot of sand packed in there. It's doing that sideways roll right now. It takes the sand away. So there's a couple more typhoons forming now. I don't know what kind of uh, everyone is different. That one, uh, that first one that went by that started all this, it was 155 miles an hour. But I guess the fronts and everything weren't right. It, it did a little bit here, but not much. But that second one that came by in that, about in that same path was only like 80 miles per hour typhoon and uh 
while it was like a thousand miles away, that's when this beach got ate up. But another typhoon was actually forming right off the coast of Manila at the same time that one was a thousand miles away. Wow. Cool. <laughs> Come back. I want to see you some more. The dragonfly was to see you too. That was pretty cool. What kind of birds was that? At first I thought it was, well, why are all the birds running? <laughs> They're coming from that way and going this way. <laughs> the typhoon is north. But the one forming off Manila is gonna go into this bay over here, the sea, the Sulu Sea, or some people call it the China, South China Sea. Off the coast here is called the Sulu Sea because it's the territorial waters of the Philippines. They can call it what they want. Whatever they call it, that's what I'm going to go by. Whatever the Philippine government calls it, that's what I'm going to call it. Because, you know, I just retired here. I wasn't born here. So whatever they tell me to call it, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm just going to go with the local population. Because <laughs> they know what they call everything. It's their land. Hi. Right. I don't know what's in store, man. Something is on the horizon, though. And the damage is not yet done. I mean, there's damage, as you see. And the beach, there's a meter and a half to two meters of sand gone from that beach. And there's the cliff. It's down to the footing of my steps, but not the footing of the fence. So, three banana trees are down that had three that had three groups of bananas. So now I only got like four groups of bananas surviving. The two best ones survived. I think it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. The best one right in there. See it? Ooh, those are my pride and joy. Hang in there, babe. Hang in there. I want to eat you. Okay. So, I, I, I just, I don't know what to wake up. When I wake up in the morning, I don't know what's going to be love. This morning I woke up and think, now is my fence out there going to still be there? Because the surf growled all night, like, like you hear it growling now. But it was worse yesterday. So, hopefully the worst is over, but there's two two typhoons brewing being born in the Pacific right now heading this way We should have had 10 extra points. All right, man, we're 2 0 now. <laughs>
By your side, the run of the lives, watching you cry for me. Get on your knees, apologize, please. Now, why don't you die for me? I'm in the king, one of my things, one of the diamond ring. Get on your knees, apologize, please. Now, why don't you die for me? I can go, but I'm too bad at cursing. I'm out of mind, I can deal with it. That's a good thing. That's a good thing.